Now on Coast TV News. We're seeing weakening showers and storms this morning with the cold front that will be moving through later today. And with that front, it could fire up more storms later in the day. I'll track the storms and talk about a warm Monday and more storms later in the week coming up next. Tax time, what you need to know if you waited until the final hours to file your returns. Stolen car chaos, this scary situation Saturday night. It ended up with this car crashing near the boardwalk in Rehoboth Beach. His stardom confirmed. Scotty gets his second. It was a dominating run at the Masters for the top ranked player in the world. This is Coast TV News Today. And welcome to our six o'clock hour. Good morning. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, everybody. I'm Paige Marley. It's Monday, April 15th, 2024. The official halfway point of mm -hmm. April. Nice. We're coming off a weekend with spectacular spring weather, too. Yes, definitely. And we're going to have some great weather today as well. A little bit, yeah. I didn't say this evening. I you said did, today. You didn't. I, yes. So I didn't you lie. Did, you did specify that. I did. I did you're specify. specifier I'm a, type person. I'm a specifier type person. <laughs> I don't need, is that a word? It is now. Okay. Matt Pensick said it. I spoke it into existence. So it is. Exactly. But uh, who else is a specific specifier? <laughs> is Scientist type <laughs> person. <laughs> Now I'm just making up words too, yeah, is our meteorologist Bob Chahi. But Bob, I didn't lie to the people, right? Great day. I said nothing about later. I'd say between now and four o'clock, we're good, Paige. After four, all bets are off. That's when we could see showers, storms, maybe some stronger storms. But right now, we're just looking at a lot of clouds. These are what you call debris clouds from storms that were firing up through Pennsylvania last night, and they just kind of drifted our way. We had some showers around Denver, uh, Denver. <laughs> wrong state, <laughs> Dover, and we had some light showers there, but those are weakening as they're moving to the south and east. You see some maybe sprinkles from Annapolis to the southern tip of Jersey, but that's about it. But I am tracking this cold front that's slowly making its way through Pennsylvania, and that will bump into a lot of heat and some instability later on, sparking some storms later. But 50s and low 60s now, we're looking at light winds, and I think the skies do clear out this morning, and with that, it's going to be warming up very quickly through the 60s and 70s by noon some places near 80 we are well into the low 80s around 2 p.m cooler along the beaches then that front heads our way i think sometime after about four o'clock you can see some of the bright red maybe some strong gusty winds heavy rain some hail and maybe some damaging winds and then that activity will start to quiet down but with the sun today it's strong uv index brought to you by ocean city it's high it's seven so burn time 20 minutes hat sunglasses and sunscreen you need all all of those and we are in the high range today and tomorrow and back into the medium range Wednesday through Friday. So make sure you have that higher SPF today and tomorrow. Thank you, Bob. This morning, four teenagers are facing several charges after leading police on a high speed chase along the Delaware coast. You can see the area where the crash ended. It's right on your screen. Delaware State Police say one 14 year old, two 15 year olds, and a 17-year-old were all arrested over the weekend. Yeah, this is on April 13th, around 7.21 p.m. A silver Honda with a temporary Delaware registration drove away from a traffic stop by Bethany Police. And later, troopers saw that car speeding down Coastal Highway. They tried to chase the car, but stopped because of safety concerns. Police found out that car was stolen. It was seen in Dewey Beach going towards Silver Lake. The car then crashed near the Rehoboth Beach boardwalk, and the suspects were arrested after they tried to run away. Police say they also found a gun in the car, and those teenagers were charged with multiple crimes, including resisting arrest. It's tax deadline day. You have less than 24 hours to file a return or request an extension. And if you owe and you fail to file by today, the IRS will issue a 5% penalty for each month that you're late. Yeah, there's also concern about scams here. The amount of money lost has gone up 14% in the last year. That's according to data from the Federal Trade Commission. The IRS says they will never contact you by email, text, or through social media for a bill or a tax refund. If you do get a letter in the mail, double check the phone number. Make sure that it matches the number on the IRS.gov website. And if you have waited up until today's deadline to file your taxes, don't panic. You're not alone. According to NBC News, nearly 29% of people wait until the final day to get their taxes in. So here are some expectations if you are filing today. According to the IRS, if you're getting a refund, you can expect that within about 21 days. If you need an extension, you must file that today as well, along with your estimated payment amount. That's going to buy you about six months. The final returns will be due October 15th. 
We have some helpful links on our Coast TV News app and website. Today's also a deadline in Dewey Beach for people who own rental property. If you rent it out your place between October 1st and March 31st, you must submit 3% tax dues. According to the town, this tax applies to all residential rental properties except those with year-round tenants. For landlords who are behind, late payments will include extra charges. Happening today, South Bethany continuing its work on its canal waters. The Canal Water Quality Committee saying they have high levels of algae in those canals due to the large amounts of nutrients in the water. Those nutrients flow into the canals through runoff from sources including Coastal Highway and homes. The committee saying homeowners can help battle this issue by trimming all vegetation that hangs over the canals and minimizing your fertilizer use. Today, the committee will provide an update on the agreement for the seasonal canal cleaning. Well, we could have some nice weather this week. It will not allow you to enjoy part of the Lewis Georgetown Trail. That's because happening today, part of the trail will close. That's according to DelDot. The span we're talking about, it goes from Log Cabin Hill Road to Minus Conway Road. This is for routine trail maintenance. That work is starting today. It'll last through Friday, April 19th. Dewey Beach's paving project is also set to begin this week. The town says paving of state-owned streets is scheduled to begin tomorrow. The work will start at the second block of Chesapeake Street. That will continue down Bayard Avenue to Bellevue Street. The town says contractors have a hard stop date of May 3rd, and then paving will resume after Labor Day. This morning, 27-year-old Scotty Scheffler will wake up as Masters champion. His final round score of 68 helped him pull away from the rest of the field. It is Scheffler's second green jacket, and we'll have more on the Masters later on Coast TV News Today. Top U.S. officials are worried that Israel may respond hastily to Iran's drone and missile attacks over the weekend, provoking a wider regional conflict that the U.S. could get dragged into. Officials tell NBC News that President Biden conveyed to Prime Minister Netanyahu U.S. support for Israel is, quote, ironclad, despite just a few days ago hinting he would withhold aid to Israel. NBC's Bree Jackson shows us the fallout from the weekend that may have escalated an already tense war. President Biden condemning Iran's wave of strikes toward Israel and praising the U.S. airmen who shot down Iranian drones and missiles. Hey, you guys are the best in the whole damn world, man. The president met with G7 leaders Sunday and urged restraint as Israel considers its response. We will take whatever it takes to protect and defend our people. The 9,602nd meeting of the Security Council is called to order. During an emergency United Nations Security Council meeting, the UN Secretary General called for a de-escalation of tensions. Now is the time to defuse and de-escalate. Now is the time for maximum restraint. There are growing concerns that Iran's attack over the weekend could trigger a wider war in the Middle East. This is an, is an escalating conflict. And there are renewed calls from lawmakers and the Biden administration for Congress to pass a bipartisan aid package that stalled in the House. The fact that the United States and Israel were cooperating, and this was in planning for weeks, shows that our commitment to Israel's security is ironclad. Get it on the floor, let's get it voted on, so that not only Israel can get additional resources to defend itself, which they clearly need, but that Ukraine can as well. A vote on a national security spending package is expected this week. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. On Sunday, House Speaker Mike Johnson said the tales of a package are still being hammered out, but he will push for more money for Israel. All right, we're just getting started this hour of Coast TV News Today. Yeah, coming up, Inlet River Repairs will tell you what the Army Corps of Engineers is saying about the timeline of this project. Also ahead, U.S. Steel sets their sights on a sale. We're telling you why officials and possibly union workers are not backing the deal. we got some incredible images here from a crash in Georgetown over the weekend. Just look at that. What police there are saying about what they found. All that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. Shower Glass. Our name says it all. We provide the best custom shower glass on the shore in a fraction of the time. And our reviews prove it. Shower Glass delivers the best fit, finish, and fastest service. Reliable scheduling, competitive pricing, the best in the business. They're the only one we call for Shower Glass. Frameless beauty with speed, accuracy, and lifetime warranties. Shower glass. It's all we do. Visit showerglassdoors.net to schedule your free consultation. 
you bring in good advice, Reeve. Thank you. Have you had to learn all this the hard way? Yes, I did. <laughs> Voice, new tonight on NBC and Peacock. Rob and Aaron's relationship is very dangerous. Time to put an end to the Rob mob. This game's gonna be high stakes. I am an epic failure. If Aaron's gone, I got no one. God. Deal or No Deal Island, tonight on NBC and Peacock. Dive into the extraordinary this spring at Bella Terrace Garden Center. Discover rare wonders, vibrant annuals, perennials, a wide range of native plants, and lush tropicals. With over 20 years of expertise, Trust us to elevate your curb appeal. Explore our website and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for insider tips, inspiration, and exclusive deals that will take your gardening to the next level. Experience the possibilities at our garden center right off Route 16 between Milton and Allendale. In 2019, two visionaries banded together behind a restaurant to create the ultimate pizza, starting from scratch, just like our dough. At the Dough Bar, everything is a season for a reason. From our gourmet specialty pizzas to our signature sandwiches and mouth-watering entrees, we use high-quality ingredients for a freshness you'll crave. Enjoy our specialty cocktails with 16 craft brews on tap, or toast your own s'mores tableside by the water. Order online or visit the Dough Bar, Milton Delaware's hidden gem. 611 on our Monday morning. You're seeing the clouds breaking up in Milford right now and our Bay Health Cam showing dry conditions. We had some showers earlier to the north, but they're beginning to fall apart. So we're just looking at mainly cloudy skies. You can see how the showers are just kind of dwindling. We do have a cold front to the north and that could spark more activity later today. But out the door, temperatures in the 50s and 60s and we've got light winds. So that's always good. Here's our drive cast. It's changeable. It's green this morning, dry and mild, but it goes from yellow to red this evening because the showers and storms watch for heavy rain, some hail and gusty winds as well. Look at your screen here. It was just after midnight on Sunday. The Georgetown Fire Company and the EMS units responded to an accident at the intersection of West Market Street and the Circle. You can see the damage to this car and the Circle. When emergency crews arrived at the scene, they found the car on top of a fire hydrant at the Circle. No word yet on any injuries or how this actually happened. Moving on and happening today, possible action in Milton regarding its tagline survey. Now, a tagline, for example, is like Rehoboth Beach being the nation's summer capital. It was a few months ago that the town began a survey on a tagline. A survey asked questions that would help organizers understand what people thought of when describing Milton. The Economic Development Committee will discuss and possibly vote on results at its meeting tonight at 530 at the Milton Library. Also in Milton, the plan to build a McDonald's moves forward. You may remember there was some drama on this one. You can see the proposed location on your screen. The spot for the fast food restaurant would be at 102 Broadkill Road, and the town council is expected to hear more about these plans on Tuesday. U.S. Steel shareholders have approved a $14 billion sale to a Japanese company. The company announcing that 98% of share voters were in favor of the deal with Nippon Steel. However, the deal faces significant opposition from the United Steelworkers Union and politicians on both sides of the aisle. President Biden has said it is vital that U.S. Steel stays domestically owned and operated. Heads up, more than a half a million Roku accounts have been compromised in a cyber attack. Roku said hackers gained access to user accounts through stolen login credentials, therefore exploiting people who use the same credentials for different accounts. User passwords were automatically reset, but Roku will reach out to users if you were affected by this hack. Still ahead this morning, Inlet River repairs. After a meeting Friday, we have more information on when officials say you can expect the project to be complete. We're seeing some clouds along the boardwalk in Rehoboth, also some breaks as well. It will start to clear it out this morning, but another chance for storms later today and then again later in the week. And we'll see sunny times as well. I'll track the weather on Futurecast coming up in two minutes. Accurate termite and pest control. Our professional pest management program includes year-round protection, four seasonal visits or more, and pest-free peace of mind. Locally owned and operated Accurate Termite and Pest Control, on target since 1995. Our soldiers are heroes who protect our country. But when they come home, it's up to us to help our heroes. Now, during FH First Spring Into Giving campaign, for every $29 cooling system tune-up we perform, we'll donate that amount directly to Wounded Warrior Project. 
FH Fur Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, and Electrical. Call 877 Call Fur or visit FHFur.com to schedule your $29 cooling system tune up and use hashtag Spring Into Giving to share how you're giving back. We were thinking about doing this garage to get the dust and everything off the floor. We decided to call a Pinnacle Concrete Coating. He gave us a color option. There must have been 12 or 14 different colors to choose from. Everything they said they were going to do, they did perfect. And they worked, man, I tell you what, those guys worked so doggone, they said they could do it eight hours, and they did it in eight hours. This is not a garage no more, it's a room for my vehicle. <laughs> That's what I love about it. Call up Pinnacle, and I guarantee you'll be happy. Accurate termite and pest control. A new season is coming, and so are the pests. They want in. Trust Accurate to keep them out year round. Locally owned and operated Accurate Termite and Pest Control on target since 1995. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Stanley Steamer is proud to be the leader in deep cleaning, cleaning over 1 million homes and businesses across America every year using powerful equipment custom built by us. We'll remove the buildup of dirt, dust, allergens, grime, and contaminants seen and unseen from your home and business. America's professional deep cleaner for over 75 years. It's not clean until it's Stanley Steamer clean. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Time is 618. Here is our live look at Milford. Calm, dry for now, Bob, but you're working over there. You're tracking on some potentially rougher weather for later tonight. Yeah. yeah, I think so, Matt. I think between the hours of about 4 and 8, that's when you should have your Coast TV weather app for sure. Have that ready to go and on for alerts and also the weather phone as well. And, of course, watch Coast TV. We'll keep you updated on that threat for severe weather as it is a level one across a good chunk of southern Delaware, Seaford, Millsboro, uh, roughly from Highway 9 and Point South into northern parts of Maryland. That's where we have a uh, low chance of seeing severe weather, but that chance goes up south of Snow Hill into Westover back through Chincoteague, where you have a chance of hail and gusty winds. So definitely want to watch out for that. Temperatures out the door this morning into the 50s and low 60s. So all you need is a windbreaker essentially as we have a light southwesterly breeze and we are looking at those clouds right now. We had some showers through the Milford area and Dover, but you can see they just bloop, dried up as they're losing their instability and their heating. And we're looking at just clouds over the top of us right now, but these clouds will tend to break up. You can already see some breaks north and west of DC. There is a cold front to the north across Pennsylvania, and this will come down and right during the timing of the heating of the day. And that's when we could see some of those storms firing up later today. But this morning we're in good shape. Those debris clouds tend to break up and it warms up quickly through the 60s and then by noon into the upper 70s. Take that lunch outside. Make sure you have the sunscreen cooler along the beaches. We're in the low 80s. I think that sea breeze could work its way close to 113. So east of there, it's cooler west. Boy, low to mid 80s, very warm. And then after about 4 o'clock, we'll have to keep an eye to the northwest sky with that front heavier rain, maybe hail and gusty winds, especially southern Delaware into northern Maryland. And then this quiets down after sunset. We clear it out into Tuesday morning. It's cooler with temperatures in the 50s. The winds shift to the north and by noon tomorrow we're in the mid 60s and then lower 70s by about four o'clock cooler at the beaches. So northerly wind will be lighter as well, but that wind is out of the west today and we have that sea breeze as well. And those winds could get stronger around some of those thunderstorms with that front. Then behind that front winds do shift to the north and northeast and they are thankfully lighter by the time we go into tomorrow afternoon. More rain chances later Wednesday. I think that rain chance continues into Thursday. We'll get some rumbles of thunder as well. I think we get a break on Friday and then, oh boy, into Saturday, another chance of rain and then that could linger into your Sunday as well. Your day part forecast shows us in the low 80s today, a chance of the storms later on. Paul Davis 10 day forecast. We cool from 81 today to 71 on Tuesday and then stormy Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the 60s. Drier Friday mid 60s, so it does cool off after today and then next weekend looking a little stormy with temperatures in the 60s and then drier into the following week. Bob, we are learning more about the timeline to repair the Indian River Inlet. The Army Corps of Engineers held a public meeting on Friday in Dewey Beach about the $5.3 million project. Work on the North Bulkhead, which engineers say is failing, that will start May 6th. 
Engineers will also help repair the extremely eroded beach, but they say that, plus work across the inlet at the South Jetty, it's going to take about a year. This is going to be a really complicated repair project. Um, there will be impacts um, during construction, so we appreciate everyone's patience. Um, our team is sort of working through this um, in order to repair those two areas. There is some concern about 50 parking spaces at the inlet being unavailable. The Army Corps says they appreciate people's patience, and we will see more movement starting next month. Lewis is continuing to nail down the potential environmental regulations for wetland buffers. According to Delaware Center for the Inland Bays, both tidal and non-tidal wetlands provide some valuable services such as storm and flood protection, along with water quality improvements. Officials will continue to talk about creating an ordinance for wetlands within the city at their upcoming environmental subcommittee. That meeting is set for April 22nd. We will be right back. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. It starts with our oldest family tradition. Artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce. But don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie, it's a primo. For every season, every weather moment, stay ahead with the Coast TV First Alert Weather Phone. Just call 443-880-9100. Your forecast, just a call away. Sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. Are you having one of those days where everything that can go wrong does? Meet Preston, a normal guy with extraordinary bad luck. This is where the law office trap nickel steps in. We've got your back, even when you fall on it. Our skilled personal injury team is committed to defending your rights and converting adversity into significant compensation. Don't hesitate. Get the justice you deserve. The Law Office of Trap Nickel. Your priority is our priority. Bright yellow dandelions. A clear signal that the time for prevention is now. For crabgrass and clover are soon to follow. Hillside Lawn Service has been making lawns around the Chesapeake healthier and weed-free for over 30 years. They don't mow it, they grow it. Hillside certified agronomists test your soil, apply exactly what it needs and nothing it doesn't. Their high efficiency formulas help protect our waterways. Switch to Hillside now and get $25 off their annual maintenance program. Call Hillside Lawn Service for your free assessment. Get live satellite and radar. Download the free Coast TV First Alert weather app. Sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. It starts with our oldest family tradition. Artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce. But don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie, it's a primo. If you're looking to donate blood, here's a blood drive you can participate in just over in South Bethany. It's happening Friday at South Bethany Town Hall. You can donate between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Registration is now open. That can be found on the town's website. And there's a community health fair heading to Milton this month. Here are some things you can expect at that. It is set for April 20th at the Milton Public Library. You can receive health and vision screenings and insights that are tailored to health needs of people in Milton and the surrounding communities. This all takes place from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and admission is free. Lorette Health Center is going to be hosting its annual Spring Resource Fair at the Georgetown campus May 1st. This event runs from 10 a.m. until 2 and it's aimed to connect you with community resources and offer important health screenings. First Alert Meteorologist Bob Trahe joins us again and as we move along in the morning and the early afternoon, some really nice, nice. spring-like conditions. Let's leave it at that. Let's summer like. Do you guys think any pools are open right now? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it'd be cold, but boy, look at these air temperatures, beautiful. We're looking at cooler 70s from Lewis to Rehoboth today, but then you get in and look at the lower 80s from Georgetown and Millsboro, 82 there in Laurel and Seaford, even up to Dover. But watch out for those afternoon storms after about 4 o'clock, and we could be looking at gusty winds, heavy rain, and some hail with those. Easton and Cambridge both at 80, 83 in Vienna, Denton and Fellersburg at 81, so very toasty away from the water, 82 in Berlin, 84 Salisbury, Pocomo City, 83, but near the water, 77 Chincoteague and Ocean City at 74. That time for the storms around 4 to 8 p.m. and then more chances of storms this week. Much more on your unsettled work week forecast coming up in a few minutes.
Uh, thank you so much. Also coming up after the break, preventing escalation of an already tense war. We're telling you about the meeting President Biden had with other world leaders after Iran's attacks on Israel and what that could mean for aid for Israel. Also, temporary closure for a part of a popular bike trail, Del Dot's plans and timelines for a stretch in Lewis. And it's tax day. We have some tips for you procrastinators out there. What you need to know as we approach the deadline. Coast TV News Today will be right back. In 2019, two visionaries banded together behind a restaurant to create the ultimate pizza, starting from scratch, just like our dough. At the Dough Bar, everything is a season for a reason. From our gourmet specialty pizzas to our signature sandwiches and mouth-watering entrees, we use high-quality ingredients for a freshness you'll crave. Enjoy our specialty cocktails with 16 craft brews on tap, or toast your own s'mores tableside by the water. Order online or visit the Dough Bar, Milton, Delaware's hidden gem. Dive into the extraordinary this spring at Bella Terra's Garden Center. Discover rare wonders, vibrant annuals, perennials, a wide range of native plants, and lush tropicals. With over 20 years of expertise, trust us to elevate your curb appeal. Explore our website and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for insider tips, inspiration, and exclusive deals that will take your gardening to the next level. Experience the possibilities at our garden center right off Route 16 between Milton and Allendale. When you take a chance, chance can take you to unexpected places. Whoa. Bet Rivers Online Casino. Feel the rush. struggle, there's hope. Call Homes for Hope to schedule your same-day appointment. Now on Coach TV News. We're seeing weakening showers and storms this morning with a cold front, but they could fire up again later today. I'll track the storms and talk about a warm Monday and more storms later in the week coming up next. Iran attack aftermath. Does President Biden have a plan after seeing Israel hit by Iran over the weekend? Attacks deadline date. We have the key information on the final day to file your federal taxes. Concept changes. The site plans for a Rehoboth Beach Hotel on the boardwalk right there are revised. What is different and when you can expect this new addition to the nation's summer capital. This is Coast TV News Today. April 15th, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, Paige. Good morning, everyone. I'm Paige Marley. Yeah, Paige, time is 628 yep. as we begin a new work week, as we start the second half of April. Thank goodness that it is the second half of April, because every week we're getting a little closer to warmer weather. Yeah. Warmer weather. And so. one of the greatest months in the calendar year, May. Oh, I thought yeah. you were meeting April. I'm like, Matt, your birthday's in May. No, don't, right. get, don't forget. Yes. Okay. It's coming up. It is coming up. So. I hope you got me something nice. Yes, I, I I already shopped for you. Oh, yeah, that's why I like. I, yeah, I start that months in advance. So <laughs> uh, I, before I give away <laughs> what I gave you, let's yeah. bring in first alert meteorologist Bob Trahi. Bob, what did you get, Matt, for his birthday next month? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, throw me under the bus right away on this Monday morning. Um, I, yes, I, 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 you know, something really nice, you know. I can't tell you right now. Anyway, let's talk about the weather. We're looking at lots of clouds out there. We had a few showers to the north earlier at ahead of a cold front through Dover, but you can see they're just fizzling and moving away. A few more showers north and west of Baltimore right now and a cold front making its way through Pennsylvania. That will sag to the south today and interact with the heating of the day. We could see some fireworks after about four o'clock with storms, but right now looking at temperatures into the mid to upper 
50s inland, some uh, lower 60s Ocean City, Bethany Beach 62 in Salisbury, and we've got a southwesterly breeze. Here's Futurecast. We'll break up the clouds this morning and temperatures will skyrocket out ahead of that front. Upper 70s, 1130, cooler along the beaches by 2 o'clock, 80 in Allendale, 82 Del Mar, Salisbury 82, but right along the coast and east of 113, you're going to see a sea breeze and a little cooler. Then after about 4 o'clock, that's when we can see some strong to possibly severe storms, especially farther south with heavy rain, strong gusty winds and hail. We'll be watching that, but running this morning, no severe weather looking good with clouds and some sun temperatures quickly warming from the 50s into the 60s and upper 70s by noon. Very nice. Thank you. That's also tax day. Do you love that? Well, you have just hours left to file a return or request your extension. Otherwise, you might end up paying a fee. Yeah, love it or hate it, Paige. I don't think we have a choice. No, you don't. Yeah, those fees you talked about, it could climb up to 25%. If you owe taxes and you waited too long, yeah. Amy Kiley shows us how to file or get an extension quickly. Fastest way to get your refund is to electronically file and to receive that refund through a direct deposit. It's not too late to file a tax return or request more time. Some people automatically get an extension. Residents of Maine, Massachusetts, and Washington, D.C. have an extra day or two for observed holidays. People who live or work in federally declared disaster areas can check their deadlines at irs.gov. It's possible to request an automatic six-month extension for free through an IRS partner on the agency's website. The deadline for that is today, and it involves paying estimated taxes. For those who want to file before midnight tonight... And the IRS this year is attempting a direct file with multiple states. People not in direct file states can check out the IRS's trusted partners. Those with an adjusted gross income of $79,000 or less can file with them for free. Others can use paid services. Experts urge taxpayers to enter information correctly. Something as simple as just you know, fat fingering your social security number, you know, could really cause you a headache. Watch out for scams. If you didn't initiate that contact, go to the source. And avoid late fees. Sometimes people get scared and they're like, oh my goodness, I owe money, I'm not going to file. And for that, we really encourage people, go ahead and file. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. And if you know that you're due a refund, you have some wiggle room. The failure to file the penalty does not apply to you. And if you've waited up until today's deadline to file taxes, you're not alone. According to NBC News, nearly 29% of people wait until the final days to get their taxes in. Here are some expectations if you are indeed filing today. According to the IRS, if you're getting a refund, you just expect that within 21 days. If you need an extension, you must file that today as well, along with an estimated payment amount. It does buy you about six months. Final returns are due by October 15th. We do have some helpful links on the Coast TV news app and website. And some of you have more taxes to pay. For those who own a rental property in Dewey Beach, today is the day to pay those taxes. Property owners who rented out their places between October 1st and March 31st must submit your 3% tax dues. According to the town, this tax applies to all residential rental properties except those with year-round tenants. For landlords who are behind, those late payments will have extra charges. Happening today, part of the Lewis-Georgetown Trail, it'll close according to DelDot. It'll span from Log Cabin Hill Road to Minus Conaway Road for routine trail maintenance that work again starting today. It'll last all through the work week through Friday, April 19th. Happening today, South Bethany continuing its work on its canal waters. The Canal Water Quality Committee saying they have high levels of algae in the canal due to a large amount of nutrients in the water. Those nutrients flow into the canal from runoff from sources like Coastal Highway or from homes. The committee says homeowners can help battle this issue by trimming vegetation that hangs over canals and minimizing your fertilizer use. Today, that committee will provide an update on the agreement for seasonal canal cleaning. New project is heading to Georgetown. Today, crews will be installing new water meters throughout the town. These new meters, it's part of the Advanced Metering Infrastructure Project. The town says the new meters will provide remote collection of water use data in real time. 
and there'll be a customer portal for water data and alerts to homeowners. The installation is expected to be completed by the end of June. We're going to take a live look now at the White House. There's our nation's capital looking very nice this morning, but it was there over the weekend that a meeting took place regarding the war between Israel and Hamas. Yeah, President Joe Biden attended a video conference with G7 leaders Saturday morning. This is following Iran's attack on Israel. Yeah, the group condemned Iran's attack that saw 300 drones and crews and ballistic missiles at that country. G7 leaders saying in a joint statement Sunday that it stands with solidarity with the people of Israel. And that they will continue to work to stabilize their situation and avoid any further escalation. The leaders say they will also strengthen their cooperation to end the crisis in Gaza. Got a lot more news to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. Coming up on Coast TV News Today, Rehoboth Hotel Review. We're telling you the plans for proposed hotel on the Rehoboth Beach Boardwalk that not everyone wants checking in. Yeah, also awesome at Augusta. Scotty Scheffler makes his mark in Masters history. And some shocking video of a brush fire in Miami. We're telling you how much damage that blaze has caused. Stay with us on Coast TV News Today. Accurate termite and pest control. For the best termite elimination on the shore, call Accurate and have the safest termite prevention for years to come. Locally owned and operated Accurate termite and pest control on target since 1995. Here at Delaware Electric Cooperative, we don't have customers, we have members. Those we power own the cooperative and are entitled to all of its profits. Because we're a not-for-profit, we are focused on service. That's why our electric rates are the lowest in the region and why our employee family continues to achieve record reliability. Like the farmers who founded our co-op in the 1930s, we believe everyone is entitled to quality electric service. Member built, member owned. That's the DEC difference. For a great shopping experience, Furniture Gallery is the place to pick up one-of-a-kind signature finds to complete your home decor. Come explore our selection of handcrafted furniture and get all the supplies you need for your own DIY projects. And through the doors is Shaw Marketplace where you'll find the most unique local shops at the beach. With over 40 local artisans, Shaw Marketplace is truly a local connection you cannot afford to miss. And next door you'll find Scrub Apparel Outlets. All this under one roof with easy access off Coastal Highway North. McMullen Septic Service. Inspection, that's our business. Pumping, that's our business. Installation, that's our business. Repair, that's our business. Three generations and 70 years of experience, we do it all. Remember, every two to three years to pump your septic to keep things running smoothly. Serving Southern Kent and Sussex counties. Trust McMullen Septic Service for all your septic needs. Your business is our business. Accurate termite and pest control. With over 300 combined years of experience, we're community focused and five star rated. Accurate pest control. Locally owned and operated, accurate termite and pest control on target since 1995. 637 on this mainly cloudy Monday morning, not seeing the sunrise on our Tyndall's casual furniture cam. 57 in Laurel, but we're not seeing any rain yet either. We had some showers to the north, but those kind of fizzled out, looking at most of the cloudy skies right now. There is a cold front to the north across Pennsylvania. A few showers around Hagerstown, back into Baltimore, and this front slowly moves to the south, and that will interact with the heating of the day. Give us some storm chances later today, but this morning, nice and quiet, mainly cloudy, temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Here is today's checklist. Make sure you have the umbrella and raincoat for the afternoon and evening for storms then. Dress for summer today. You need the sunscreen. Stay hydrated with water. First time we're saying that this season. And make sure you have the sunglasses. And make sure you pick up the phone and call the Coast TV First Alert weather line. Brand new forecast. I just updated it. Call 443-880-9100. It's sponsored by Baird, Mandalas, Broxted, and Federico. A shocking video now to show you of a massive brush fire in Miami. It impacted traffic in that area Sunday. According to Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, the initial fire broke out just after 2 p.m. and it stretched across 150 acres. Police shut down the southwest 8th Street in that area in both directions due to heavy smoke. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue upgraded that blaze to a third alarm fire with about 26 units assisting. Residents there urged avoid that area and to stay indoors. Happening today closer to home, as part of the ongoing Park Avenue relocation project, several properties on DuPont Boulevard in Georgetown will experience a temporary water main shutdown today. That'll be at 10 a.m. So don't worry, on your screen we have a list of properties that will be affected. 
The town saying this shutdown is expected to only last for a short period of time after services there will be restored quickly. Locals and businesses alike advised prepare for this lack of water service. Full flooding on Delmarva. It's a big topic, and that's why several Maryland state agencies are coming together to host two events this month, which happens to be Maryland's Flood Awareness Month. Both events will be virtual. The first event will offer people the chance to learn about how Maryland communities can prepare for flooding. This one takes place Thursday at noon. The second session gives people the chance to ask any questions they have about flooding. That one's at 6 p.m. same day. It's on Thursday. After three rounds at the Masters, the number one ranked golfer in the world, Scotty Scheffler, sat atop the leaderboard. Understand, this was by the thinnest of margins, just a one-stroke lead over Colin Marikawa. Scheffler, a winner at Augusta in 2022, attempting to win a second green jacket on Sunday. The greatest golfers on golf's greatest stage. The front nine on Sunday at one point saw four golfers tied for the lead. Then on the ninth, Scheffler, this is the shot of the tournament. This is his approach to the par four. He sticks it on and then just watch it roll and roll. This gets to inches of the cup where it would be a tap and birdie. It was all Scheffler from that point as he shoots 11 under for 72 holes, a second green jacket for Scotty Scheffler. I wish that I didn't want to win as badly as I did, or as badly as I do. I think it would make the mornings easier, but I, I love winning. I hate losing. I really do. And when you're here in the biggest moments, when I'm sitting there with the lead on Sunday, I really, really want to win badly. And when he did, it's the second time he has won a Masters by three or more strokes. Only four of the golfers in the 88-year history of the tournament have ever done that. Sunday was fun day for the Shorebirds. Steven Acevedo's eighth inning home run here helped lead the Birds to a 4-1 win over the Salem Red Sox. Get this, first win of the season for the Shorebirds. They came into the game having lost eight in a row. This weekend, join the Del Marva Sports Network at the Delaware State Fairgrounds for the DSN Outdoors Expo. Both indoor and outdoor vendors will be on site in the Dover Building, Kent and Schaubringer Pavilions and Camping Area, showcasing everything outdoor. We're talking boats, we're talking RVs, too hot in the hot tub, hunting, fishing, so much more. The DSN Outdoors Expo runs April 19th through the 20th. Some entertainment news now. Celebrities often use their status to raise money and awareness for important causes, too. Upcoming examples are bringing out some big names. David Daniel has those details in the Hollywood Minute. The breakthrough prize in fundamental physics goes to Hitatashi Katori and Jun Yi. Entertainment and science came together at the Breakthrough Awards, considered by some the Oscars of Science. Celebrities honored this year's laureates in life sciences, fundamental physics, and mathematics at the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. Each winner receives a $3 million prize. The 2024 Breakthrough Prize ceremony premieres on YouTube on Sunday, April 21st. A little bittersweet because they're not going to be with these wonderful people in the same way. Friends of the late Peter Boyle are reuniting to honor the beloved actor who died in 2006 of multiple myeloma. It's the International Myeloma Foundation's annual gala, benefiting the Peter Boyle Research Fund. Ray Romano, Boyle's friend and Everybody Loves Raymond co-star, is hosting the 15th annual IMF gala Thursday in New York. Patricia Heaton from Raymond will also be on hand, along with Tony Danza and other celebs. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Hey everyone, hope you had a great weekend. Here's what's happening Monday at 4 on Coast Life. For all you book lovers out there, we're going to be telling you all about a book sale. And for you history lovers out there, we are celebrating 500 years of history in Rehoboth Beach, specifically Italian history. And for the jokesters, it's Monday, which means we've got another joke jar coming your way. All that and more Monday at 4 on Coast Life. Looking forward to that. We're looking at clouds this morning. Some breaks of blue on the tunnel and razor cam. 62 in Lewis. We're looking at 80s today. It's short lived because we do have a chance of storms later today into this evening and more chances of storms as we go through the week as well. We'll see times of sun too. I'll have your forecast details coming up in two minutes. 
Discover why Gateway Subaru is Delmarva's destination dealership, earning our customers' trust and exceeding expectations. No matter where you live, experience the Gateway difference with our no-pressure sales approach and fair, honest pricing. Plus, Gateway has more in-stock Subaru inventory to choose from than other dealers have combined. Need service fast? Our quick service lane is always ready. No appointment needed. Gateway Subaru, just minutes from the beaches in the heart of Delmarva. Higher standards. Boats, RVs, pools and spas, tractors and golf carts, plus craft vendors, food trucks, and much more. Join the adventure and fun at the DSN Outdoors Expo at the Delaware State Fairgrounds in Harrington on Friday, April 19th from 4 to 8 and Saturday, April 20th from 10 to 4. Come see the ultimate outdoor experience, plus live wrestling matches and classic cars. It's free for the whole family. See you, Delmarva, at the DSN Outdoors Expo. Taking you back to the decade of neon colors, big hair, and of course, great music. Join me, April, every morning at 8 a.m. on 107.1 The Duck as I play some of your favorite tunes from back in the day. It's April's Awesome 80s, sponsored by Easton Auto Care and Denton Auto Care and Tire. Eight seven seven call for fhfur.com. Our soldiers are heroes who protect our country. But when they come home, it's up to us to help our heroes. Now, during FH First Spring into Giving campaign, for every $29 cooling system tune-up we perform, we'll donate that amount directly to Wounded Warrior Project. FH Fur Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, and Electrical. Call 877-CALL-FUR or visit FHFur.com to schedule your $29 cooling system tune-up. And use hashtag Spring into Giving to share how you're giving back. It is 6.45 on your Monday. Let's take a live look right now at Rehoboth Beach. Bob, I bet a lot of people go into Rehoboth Beach, any of our beaches really today, to enjoy this really warm weather. Yes, yes and uh, make sure you bring the sunscreen and also make sure you have your Coast TV weather app as well, Paige, because we are looking at the chance for late day storms, especially across southern Delaware on into parts of Maryland as well and points south. Our five day temperature trend you can see, which is clearly the warmest day of the week, and that's today. 81. Our average high is 66, 71 on Tuesday. A good looking day, even though it will be a little cooler and then it gets more unsettled with storms Wednesday through Friday, 66 Wednesday, close to 70 Thursday, then back to 64 on Friday. Out the door this morning, we're seeing temperatures in the 50s and low 60s, 62 in Salisbury, Greenwood 60, 59 in Millsboro, 62 at Bethany Beach. And we've got a light southwesterly breeze right now. And we have a lot of clouds. These clouds are from storms that were firing up over Pennsylvania along a cold front last night. We even had some showers that moved to the eastern shore into the Dover area, but those have since fizzled out. So we're just looking at the clouds right now. Looks like a few showers around the Baltimore. Baltimore area and there's a cold front making its way through Pennsylvania and that will slowly sag to the south today and with the heating of the day definitely could spark off some storms as we go into the latter part of the day. So we have a level one or a marginal risk for areas essentially from Highway 9 and points south, Seaford, Millsboro back through Easton and Salisbury. But then you get into this yellow area around Chincoteague and even farther south. It's a level two. It's a slight risk for severe weather, a better chance of some hail and gusty winds there and a slight chance of a tornado. We'll have to watch out. The Storm Prediction Center could um, upgrade that slight risk a little farther north later today, so we'll be watching that. In the meantime, as we go through this morning, temperatures warming through the 60s into the mid to upper 70s. By noon, we're into the lower 80s, maybe middle 80s around Salisbury around 3 o'clock, but then much cooler along the coast with the sea breeze. Then after about 4 o'clock, we're watching for these cells to be dropping to the southeast. You can see the orange and red indicating heavy rain maybe some hail and damaging winds as they move on through eight o'clock still some lingering showers then i think we're going to clear it out after that wind shift to the north it's a cooler start tuesday morning in the low 50s by noon it's in the mid 60s and tomorrow afternoon gorgeous low 70s inland areas a little cooler farther to the east along the beaches and cool into tomorrow evening as our winds are out of the west today a bit of a sea breeze keeps it cooler later on across the coast and then could see those gusty winds with those storms this evening and 
those winds go from south to north behind that front and then more north northeast as we go into your Tuesday and much lighter. I know a lot of folks have been complaining about the winds lately. They will calm down tomorrow, but the rain is back by Wednesday with showers and storms that continues Wednesday night. Thursday be could be kind of wet and then Friday we do dry it out, but then heading into the weekend looks like more rain possible Saturday and then on into Sunday as well. So we had a nice weekend this last one. Not so lucky with the next one. Paul Davis, seven day forecast 81 today. This is the last real warm day with the late day storm 71 Tuesday, but then more storms are back Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the 60s. You can see the cooling trend through the week, only 64 Friday and dry. And then the weekend, a little stormy Saturday, 67, and then a cool rain on Sunday and 63. A proposed hotel on the boardwalk years in the making is now making progress. That hotel will be located on 2 Rehoboth Avenue in Rehoboth Beach, where that candy kitchen currently is. The City Planning Commission held a preliminary review of the site plans, which have changed since the last time they came before the city. Instead of there being 116 rooms, there would be 92 rooms. A second level lobby space, so retail can be on the ground floor, and the building will be set back further from the street. One person who frequently visits the area says a hotel is a good addition, as long as it matches the area. As long as it stays classic and the town stays on top of making it part of Rehoboth, I think that that will work. Now, there was a lot of back and forth about the site plan, so commissioners came to the decision to further review questions about the plans, then to hopefully more on the plans of public hearing in June. The builder of the property says they hope that hotel will be open for business in mid-2026. Happening now, the Maryland State Highway Administration is set to do routine maintenance repairs on the Main Street drawbridge over the Wicomico River. This is in downtown Salisbury. MDOT says there will be single lane closures and flaggers to direct drivers and all the work on the drawbridge they're saying should be completed by mid-May. Looking to bring solar energy to Frankford, the Frankford Community Energy Initiative is seeking a land use application from Sussex County to build a solar farm. The farm would be on the east side of Route 113. It's near Lazy Lagoon Road. The county will look at those plans coming up on Tuesday. Right now at 650, it's time to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. And today's Coastal Pet of the Day is a rescue who found their forever home on your screen right now. This is Bailey. Bailey has been with her family since she was eight weeks old, and she's turning three very soon. So happy birthday to Bailey, mm -hmm. and Bailey was submitted to us by Terry and Doug from Georgetown. Very sweet. We want to keep seeing all your pets on Delmarva, no matter what kind of animal they are. Send us photos. Tell us what makes them special. All right, we got that QR code. It's at the top of your screen. You click that. You can submit your furry friends to us here, and then you can watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m., like you're doing now, to see all the pets we feature. And a beautiful shot of the Indian River Bridge. Got her helmet cam seeing a few patches of blue, also some clouds as well. And we've got more storms on the way this week and times of sun as well. 80s today and then cooling down after today and looking a little wet for next weekend. I'll have your 10 day forecast coming up after the break. On Wednesday, May 15th, vote for your favorite chef at the 10th anniversary celebration, Top Chef of the Culinary Coast event to benefit Meals on Wheels Lewis Rehoboth. The fun begins at 6 p.m. at Ivy and Dewey Beach, when you'll enjoy live music and feast on the area's best culinary creations and local spirits. Get your tickets online at MealsOnWheelsLR.org or call Meals on Wheels at 302-645-7449. Turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. Plus, get free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-316-1548 or go online to buybionic360.com. Call now. Visit Tyndall's Casual Furniture, where comfort meets style and quality meets affordability. And affordability doesn't mean you have to compromise on quality. We are Delmarva's exclusive dealer for Pollywood, the name you know and trust. Pollywood dining sets start at only $9.95, fully assembled and backed by a 20-year warranty. We're also proud to carry made-in-the-USA brands like Casual Comfort and Telescope Casual. Plus, we have a wide selection of wicker by North Cape, all made with aluminum frames. So shop today with the local experts at Tyndall's Casual Furniture in Laurel and Lewis. Transform your bathroom into a haven of luxury with baths by Spicer Brothers. 
Call today for your free consultation. We'll work around your hectic schedule with evening, Saturday, and even same-day appointments available. And right now, receive 50% off installation, a free shower door upgrade, and a free deluxe shower head. Plus, enjoy your new shower now and pay later with no interest and no payments for 18 months. With Bath by Spicer Brothers, quality is our promise and your satisfaction is our guarantee. So before you sign, keep Bath by Spicer Brothers in mind. Life isn't always easy. Sometimes we need a little bit of help to work through life's more challenging problems. At Addiction Medical Facility, we are here for you, believing in your strengths to overcome any obstacle. Whether it's addiction to substance use disorders or mental health issues, there's hope for a better tomorrow. Together, we can tackle what is holding you back. Our medication-assisted treatment combines FDA-approved medication with counseling, offering a holistic approach tailored to your needs. Addiction Medical Facility. Together, we find hope and healing. It is 6.54. It's time for some things you need to know before you go. Today is tax deadline day. You have less than 24 hours to file a return or request an extension. If you owe and you fail to file by today, the IRS will be issuing a 5% penalty for each month that you're late. There is a concern about scams. Heads up, the amount of money lost has gone up 14% in the last year. That's according to recent data from the Federal Trade Commission. The IRS will never contact taxpayers by email text or through social media for a bill or tax refund. President Joe Biden attended a video conference with G7 leaders Saturday morning following Iran's attack on Israel. The group condemned Iran's attack that saw 300 drones and cruise and ballistic missiles at that country. G7 leaders saying in a joint statement Sunday that it stands with solidarity with Israel and its people and that they will continue to work to stabilize the situation and avoid further escalation. A proposed hotel on the boardwalk in Rehoboth Beach that's been years in the making is now making progress. The hotel would be located on 2 Rehoboth Avenue. It's around where the Candy Kitchen is. The City Planning Commission held a preliminary review of site plans, which have changed since the last time they came before the city. Now, instead of there being 116 rooms, there will be 92 rooms, a second-level lobby space, so retail can be on the ground floor, and the building will be set back a little further from the street. The builder of the property hopes the hotel will be open for business mid-2026. Happening today, part of the Lewis Georgetown Trail closing, according to DelDot. The span we're talking about, it goes from Log Cabin Hill Road to Minus Conway Road for routine trail maintenance that work starts today and lasts through Friday, April 19th. In Milton, the plan to build a McDonald's is moving forward. You can see that proposed location on your screen. The spot for the new fast food restaurant would be at 102 Broadkill Road. Council will hear these plans coming up tomorrow. Well, check this out. Two sisters from upstate New York, both are turning 100 years old. Minnie Howard mm -hmm. and Dolly DiStefano have more than 120 descendants between Ooh. them. We're talking children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Good for them. They both still live independently. Look at them. They have a lot of energy, it seems. They get together every week for lunch, dinner, or to play a game like that they're doing right awesome. there. That's goals right there. Yeah. Especially if I'm going to turn 100, I want to look and yeah, if I'm like going to go that long, I need to be active like that. Definitely. So uh, I'll call you in, how old are we? We're in our early 20s. We're in our... Both of us. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Maybe. We'll do the math later. Okay, yes. Okay, well, we'll, we'll talk when we turn <laughs> right. 100. Okay, well, hey, it is 6.56 now. We should bring in Bob for a quick look at your forecast. Yeah. yeah. So 1924 <laughs> is when they were born. So I'm guessing it was that Woodrow Wilson maybe was president when they were born. That's, you put that in perspective, that's uh, pretty amazing. That is. And, the Industrial Revolution, everything they've seen in their lifetime is pretty cool stuff oh, there. History, I know, just a wealth of knowledge. We're looking at clouds this morning and sunshine and a quick warm up through the 60s into the 70s. We're in the low 80s later this afternoon, but we could be looking at fireworks after about four o'clock with a cold front with thunderstorms and maybe some hail and gusty winds around four to 8 p.m. So have your Coast TV weather app handy and keep an eye to the sky at the thunder roars. Make sure you go indoors. Here is your Paul Davis 10 day forecast 71 drier as we go into two Tuesday, but the storms are back. It cools down Wednesday and Thursday, 64 Friday. Right now, the weekend is looking kind of wet with 60s, but then, of course, it dries out as we head into the following week. All right, Bob, thank you so much, and thank you all for joining us on Coast TV News today. And the Today Show is coming up next at 7 a.m. Of course, we'll be back with Coast TV Midday at 11, so stick around. And for even more news and coverage you can count on, download our Coast TV News and Weather apps. Have a great Monday morning, everybody.